The vast majority of bacteria, fungi, and viruses do not cause disease in humans. However, a small percentage do. Any organism that causes a disease is a pathogen. Pathogens can be bacteria, viruses, protozoans, and several parasitic worms. One bacteria that can become pathogenic is Staphylococcus aureus, a species that is a normal part of our body's flora. It can cause infections, and some of these infections can get pretty nasty, even life-threatening. One infectious strain is MRSA, methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Methicillin is one of the penicillins no longer effective in treating Staphylococcus aureus. MRSA is especially prevalent in people participating in close contact sports, in prisons, and in hospitals. This strain of staph has become resistant to many antibiotics. This is the petri dish with normal staph. The small white circles are impregnated with various antibiotics. Notice there are zones around many of the discs with no staph because the antibiotic has inhibited its growth. This is a petri dish with methicillin-resistant staph and antibiotic-impregnated discs. There aren't very many antibiotics that kill this bacteria. Following the discovery of antibiotics, doctors and researchers predicted an end to infectious disease, but they were wrong. As antibiotics were developed and often misused, bacteria evolved. Upon treatment with an antibiotic, most of the bacteria die, but a few with resistance do not. They reproduce and pass on that resistance gene to their offspring. Today, our arsenal of useful antibiotics is shrinking. Overprescribing antibiotics to people and using them in feed to increase farm animal weight gain have caused some disease-causing bacteria to become resistant to many of our formerly effective antibiotics. You have several natural defenses against these pathogens, such as intact skin, mucous membranes, coughing, <coughs> sneezing, and your immune system. The complex immune system consists of several types of white blood cells and organs in your body, including the spleen and the thymus gland. Our immune system is our major defense against pathogenic organisms. The fact that the majority of us are healthy most of the time is a testament to how well our immune system does its job.